going on? My name is Louis, and God bless every single one of you. Today is September 23rd, 2023, and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some breaking news updates, some very important information coming out. If you can, please share the video. And it says right here, Lavov said that the West is an empire of lies. He's referring to the sleeping giant. The sleeping giant is an empire of lies. And they also talked about other things concerning the biblical wars going on right now between Crane and the bear. And uh, not only that, guys, I got a very important video coming up after this one here. And I want to show you the greatest empire in the world, the sleeping giant. Remember I told you Halloween is around the corner? This is just a tip of it. The blaspheme, the mockery, the abomination, the empire of lies. You think the sleeping giant stands for God? Well, we're going to see what's going on in this story right here, guys. Before I start, give this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, family, and so loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. Also, guys, $1 a month Patreon will get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about in the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. For those of you that want to want to send us letters or prayer requests you can send it to me Luis santiago at 3432 us highway 19 number two holiday florida 34691 all right so the same person lavov also said that he's willing to work some kind of peace but there ain't going to be no ceasefire because they were once deceived by the sleeping giant all right, so there's a lot of stuff going on here, guys. Also, I want to show something really quick. I was not aware of this news uh, because yesterday uh, I was I was not doing updates. I was again I took a day off yesterday, but uh, this happened, and I just want to bring this up really quick. So the bear retaliates for Sevastopol, hits this airport right here where the missile were launched. There is a video that show massive uh, explosion that took place in this area. So the bear has sent a message back and they took out this airport right here. Now this is Crane Airport. Give me a second. Let me just pull up the map really quick and show you where exactly this place is located. Now we know that it's is in Crane the yellow and blue country, but let me search up the map really quick. There we go. Give me a second. All right, so give me one second. All right, so it's got to be one of these airports up there, guys. So this is Sevastopol right here. All right. This is where they got hit. All right. That circle dot right there. So it seems like the missile came from that area and struck Sevastopol. And that was, uh, I think, yesterday or the day before yesterday. Now, the bear came back and struck those airports, uh, leaving it uh, destroyed. And give me a second. Let me go back to... This article right here. There we go. You know what? Let me just read this part uh, really quick. It's not a long article. It's pretty short. Um, so it says here, just days ago, you have UKR fired either the French supply scalp or British supply storm shadow. I believe it was the storm, uh, storm shadow that was used. On Sevastopol. A uh, storm shadow missile at the Bear Black Sea Fleet headquarters in Sevastopol, Crimea. The bear taking out what we are now told was 34 high ranking bear officer now. I just posted a video that uh, there was some, you know, a dozen that were taken out. This one here says 34. 
So 34 high ranking bear officer now taken out. The bear has retaliated. This is huge. So this airport launched sites for the cruise missile uh, strike upon Sevastopol has uh, been hit by a significant bear missile barrage. Now, no air raid sirens. Give me a second. I can't see this, guys. Turner needs to dock in these words. All right, so no air raid warning was sounded prior to the strike, with locals suggesting that the bear utilized low observable KH-50 cruise missile for the retaliation strike. Both scalp and storm shadow missiles, which were stored at this airport, along with the UKR SU-24M-MR bomber aircraft, which fired those missiles, have been destroyed. A substantial number of fire fighters and ambulances have been dispatched to the airport. We are told there are significant casual among pilots and crews, excuse me, ground crews, and even NATO personnel, including Polish troops, who were involved in coordinating the operation and maintaining the missiles. And not only that, we have more breaking news updates. I got to bring this up really quick. You even have German army tank crew caught operating tank and crane. The, uh, again, the bear literally took him out. So it seems like it seems like little by little, there's some NATO soldiers in crane. It's just the tip of it. All right, now let's go to this breaking news updates. Now, guys, I will talk about this over at Grand Supreme News. All right, um, once again, Halloween display featuring our Lord and Savior. I mean, give me a second here. Jesus beheaded sparks controversy. Welcome to Sleeping Giant. <sighs> Unbelievable. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. The Sleeping Giant, um, the land of the abomination. And I've been saying it over and over. It, it's a pagan holiday. The month of October. You know what? And now we have Levon saying that the sleeping giant is an empire of lies. All right. Let's see what's going on here. Sorry, guys, give me a second. I just just came home doing some Uber and DoorDash. Got to survive somehow in this tough, tough time we living. You know, they say that everything is beautiful. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Empire of Lies, the bear Lavar slams NATO and Sleeping Giant in UN speech. A lot of very, very important people at that area. All right, so the bear foreign minister, Sergi, has called the sleeping giant and NATO an empire of lies and accused it of adopting a neo colonel min mindset and his overtures to the global south to win backing for UKR in the biblical war. Now, speaking after a week of intense of global diplomacy at the annual gathering of world leaders in this area, in the Big Apple, uh, where UKR and its uh, NATO allies sought to drum up support for the Yellow Blue Country capital, as if fights against the bear invades. Now, Lavov said a global majority was being dumped by the NATO and sleeping giant. So the sleeping giant and his subordinated collective continue to fuel, they're referring to NATO, continue to fuel conflicts which artificially divide humanity into hostile blocks and hamper the achievement of overall aims. He said, they are trying to force the world to play according to their own self-centered rules. 
And Mr. James, uh, from this, I'm gonna skip all that information. He said that Lavov's speech was part of a tour around the world of the Bear Views that contain no real mention of UKR and few indication of the bear capital plan one year into the conflict. Now, during a news conference following the speech, the for uh, foreign minister dismissed a 10 point proposal put forward by UKR leader, Mr. Z, as well as the latest UN proposal to revive the Black Sea Grain Initiative. It is completely not foreseeable, he said, of the peace blueprint promoted by the Yellow Blue Country Capital. It is not possible to implement this. It is not realistic, and everybody understands this. But at the same time, they said this is only basis for negotiation. He also said that the U blank proposed um, would not fly because the West did not deliver on its promises. To the bear capital, including removing sanks on a bear bank and reconnecting it to the global SWIFT system. So basically, uh, he's just calling out the abomination. The greatest, uh, greatest empire in the world is just liars. Liars. Is that true? Well, I remember when Mr. Burns was you know running to be the sleeping giant leader he promised the sleeping giants he was gonna give two thousand dollars remember that stimulus two thousand dollars when he became the leader he's like here six hundred where's the two thousand he lied and i remember last year he said that he's not gonna send powerful weapons that could hit the bear territory this year it's a whole different story. He lied. Again, guys, it, I mean, it just, you just gotta listen to him. Pay attention to Mr. Burns. Pay attention to those in the spotlight. They say one thing, and then it's another thing. And uh, it's very important, guys, you know, Satan is the uh, father of lies and all that type of stuff. And it's being shared to those in the spotlight. We are seeing many antichrist spirits. We are witnessing some, uh, again, we are seeing the abomination and the lies and the biblical wars, and it's all happening here in the sleeping giant. So, how can you make peace when those in the sleeping giant don't know the definition of it? Uh, so the February 2022 invasion of UKR trigger trade disruption and significant increase in international prices for energy, agricultural commodities, and fertilizers, which were already elevated due to the effect of the, you know what, 2020. The bear foreign minister placed the blame for the event in the food and energy markets on NATO and sleeping giant nations, who impose unilateral Measures or sanctions or sanctions, sanctions on weaker ones. Remember what I said last year? Actually, someone left a comment, made a lot of point. I won't forget that comment. There will be consequences when you place these uh, sanctions. Now, the sleeping giants, NATL, are responsible for all that uh, when it comes to the food. You know how you come home with six grocery bags? And it's like over a hundred dollars. It's just brutal. Why? Well, you could thank the sleeping giant for that. And NATO, bam, who imposed sanks. Now, if Mr. Byrne has a nice heart and lift those sanks and walk away from Crane Biblical War, man, guys, the gas price will probably go to like one dollar eighty cents a gallon. The eggs, I mean, the bread, instead of being $4, bread could be like a dollar. And Dollar Tree will be a dollar instead of dollar twenty-five. It would be beautiful. And then everybody would look at Mr. Byrne and say, thank you, Mr. Byrne, you're changing. Thank you. But again, that's a different universe. We, we, we actually inside a black hole right now. Mr. Byrne is upside down. All right, so... As long as those sanks is still on the bear, 
you're gonna have to work at least three jobs <laughs> so and and again this is why i tell you guys that i'm doing uber and doordash and you know just trying to survive like uh, a lot of people out there all right so once again yeah uh the bear lavov speech came as mr z awarded two polish volunteer state awards during a stop over as relation between the two lands are strained over grain imports he did not meet with any officials now mr z angered his neighbor when he told the you blank general assembly that the yellow blue country capital was working to preserve land routes for grain exports but that the political theater around imports was only helping the bear capital and this is when poland and crane oh not looking good poland decided last week to extend a ban on ukr grain imports shaking the yellow blue country capital relationship with a neighbor neighboring that had been one of the staunchest allies since the bear invaded the yellow blue country in february last year Give me a second here, guys. Yeah, this here is going to be a very long article. And I truly apologize. I was not aware of this one. I just chose his article, but you guys get the picture here. This is a very important um, message from the bear. The empire of lies continue. And again, this is all the updates of the counteroffensive. We already know this. Now I can't share this link, guys. Uh, I'm gonna share it on my Twitter account because I don't want to share it here because then the platform would go nuts. But uh, yeah, you get the picture. It was out there. He gave a message. The sleeping giant empire lies. So the bear told Z, the leader of the yellow blue country, let's work things out. Let's work peace. Come on, let's let's get to I mean go to the round table. Let's let's dialogue. So Mr. Z is like, peace? Or so I go see Mr. Burns. Peace or see Mr. Burns. Oh, he caught that first class uh you know, first class uh seat to the sleeping giants. And the sleeping giant gave him tanks and so many other things. You call that peace? Well, just like the Bible said, when spoken of peace and security, the sudden destruction shall follow. Once again, Mr. Z chose destruction. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Once again, for those of you that want to give a light to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get to access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those link will be in the comments box. Uh, again, guys, I will talk about the video of the Halloween. That's going to be over at Grand Supreme News. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.